Hello, good evening and welcome, my friends, from my study in my humble abode, from where I have been asked to compose and carry out the Harry Potter Quiz Night 2022 for the Shepton Library. Now, who would have thought that in 1997 we would begin reading about the adventures of a young, magically inclined boy who had survived a brush with death and whose books would go on to sell, as of 2018, half a billion copies. Harry Potter is the most read book series of all time and continues to outsell all others to this day, 25 years on. One would bet that rather a penny or two has been made in the process as well. Now, for the purposes of this quiz, it is important to say that whether magically inclined or muggles, all are welcome to take part. There shall be no prizes, but there shall be some rather smashing certificates handed out if you are willing to submit your names to the Shetland Library for my consideration after the quiz. I'm sorry I can't be there with you in person. However, I am dead. There's a hint. Having said that, I would like to begin this evening with some rather easier questions which have been drawn up for me by the ghost of none other than Severus Snape. I did say easy, didn't I? Are you all ready? Do you have your pens and pencils by your sides? Magical quills in the case of Miss Skeeter, of course. I should add that I shall go through all four rounds of questions, giving you time to compose your answers, and no googly whatchamacallits shall be allowed. Thank you very much. Computers, pah, one never holds with such things. They'll never catch on, you know. Email, whew, ho, ho, ho. as long as there are owls to carry around the mail for us, why would we need email? Yes, as I was saying, forgive this old duffer. At the end of the quiz, I shall pop off for briefly to check your answers, to check your answers, and then I shall be reading all the appropriate answers back to you. I would suggest that in the case of those ultra-competitive people, or people who cannot be honest with themselves and admit defeat or lack of knowledge. Pass your papers to a friend or family member to mark for you. Severus, I'm looking at you now. Dolores Umbridge, you're barred from this quiz. Are you all ready? Good, then I shall begin. <coughs> <clears throat> Round one. Question one. What is the name of the device which Dumbledore uses to extinguish and relight the street lights on Privet Drive, and which later on made its way into the rather grimy hands of young Ronald Weasley, scallywag that he is? Still, he made good use of it. Once again, question one, what is the name of the device which Dumbledore uses to extinguish and relight the streetlights on Privet Drive? Are you ready? What, you need more time? No time turners allowed, thank you. Good. Question two. What is the name of the magical plant which Harry uses to breathe underwater 
and who tells him about it in the book? I should add that as this is in behalf of Shetland Library and not Shetland Cinema, all these questions are about the books and not the movies, which differ ever so slightly. I'm a lot more handsome in person for a start. Question two, once again. What is the name of the magical plant which Harry uses to breathe underwater? And who tells him about it in the book? Ready? Shall I move on? Place the pause button otherwise. Do it now or else. Question three. What is the full name of the conductor on the night bus? Bit of a rogue, that one. Certainly not the type you want your young ladies to be hanging around with. Question number three. Once again, what is the full name of the conductor on the night bus? Shall we move on? Sorry, I washed my hair just before I started. I can't do a thing with it. <laughs> Question four. How do you find Diagon Alley? And what is the name of the landlord who guards it? How do you find Diagon Alley? And what is the name of the landlord who guards it? Ready for number five? Splendid. What type of creature was the pet which saw Hagrid expelled from Hogwarts? And I don't mean spider. The exact name of the breed. What type of creature was the pet which saw Hagrid expelled from Hogwarts? And what was the name he gave to it? Once again, question five. What type of creature was the pet which saw Hagrid expelled from Hogwarts? And what was the name that he gave to it? Question six. We'll relax with a slightly easier one for you all. Which accolade did James and Lily, Harry's parents, wonderful children, hold during their time in Hogwarts? Which accolade did James and Lily, Harry's parents, hold during their time in Hogwarts? That was question six. Moving on to question seven. What would muggles see if they were to look at Hogwarts? That's question seven once again. What would muggles see if they were to look at Hogwarts? Now, as this is pre-recorded, obviously, you can skip back and forth all you want. Just don't Google it or what you call it. No cheating. Try and use your own knowledge, all you super fans out there. Once again, question seven. What would muggles see if they were to look at Hogwarts? Question eight. How did Daily Prophet reporter Rita Skeeter find out so much information on Harry and his friends during the Goblet of Fire tournament. How did Rita Skeeter, Daily Prophet reporter, find out so much information on Harry and his friends during the Goblet of Fire tournament? 
I'm sure she's lovely to her parents, but... Whew. Once again, question eight, for the third and last time. How the Daily Prophet reporter Rita Skeeter find out so much information on Harry and his friends during the Goblet of Fire tournament. Moving on to question nine. We're flying through them now. Not, not really flying, in figure of speech. Number nine. What is the full name of Voldemort's mother? Severus, you rogue. That's a nasty one. What is the full name of Voldemort's mother? And which ancient wizard was her family descended from? That one's a bit easier. But that first part. Full name of Voldemort's mother. And which ancient wizard was her family descended from? I'll give you a few more seconds. Press pause if you need to. Confer if you need to. Who in your family or circle of friends is the cleverest? Time to find out. Question 10. Why was Sir Nicholas de Mimsey Porpington sentenced to death? And by what nickname is he better known? That's why was Sir Nicholas de Mimsey Poppington sentenced to death? And by what nickname is he better known? And that, my young friends, is the end of round one. There shall now be a very short break while I take a sip of beverage before I shall carry on with questions, ten of them for round two. Please don't go anywhere. I shall be right back. For you, there shall be no such break, simply a little pause. Thank you. All oh, so very much for your patience and forbearance with this old fool. See you soon. <laughs>